beautiful. Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's Mom and Dad. Most, most of y'all already know that. Sorry, I'm kind of talking super fast. And I probably gotta work on that and not talk super fast. But anyways, the reason why this video, you're viewing it now, is basically just to let you guys know that I'm taking a little break from social media for a while and I want to get back into it. But right now, I kind of want to take a break, um, make organizations of planning things and then start getting back into it. But right now, don't give up on me yet. Um, just want to let you guys know that's the plan for right now. But I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm looking around to think. It helps me think. But until then, I love you guys. I will see you shortly. And until then, this is why I'm going quote unquote MIA for a while. But man, just taking a break from all the crazy stuff that's been happening in this world that we live in and it's best to step away for a while and just do my own thing focus on my family and all that stuff but once I feel not so angry towards the social media community um yeah I think that's all I really have to say so but I might explain it a little bit but until then i'll see you guys later love you guys stay awesome stay tuned what's up guys future me here um i just wanted to add on to the video to explain the reason for why i will not be much active as i usually would be um i noticed that in this world that we live in it's just a, a lot of negative Please wait. Uh, sorry, my cat. <laughs> um, as I was saying before, it's basically just because I don't really like seeing what I've been seeing on social media. People talking about the gun shootings, the violence. Um, people judging other people for who they are, who they love, and all that stuff. And it's just, it's, it's nasty, it's negative, and I want to live in a world where one day we can just be treated equally. And for Trump to sit there and make a reason for the LGBT community to lose their jobs or you can't work with them. And it upsets me. <laughs> it's it's just it's disgusting. It's disrespectful to human rights. Um I was hoping when we lived in the United States we had freedom rights. We were free, but we don't feel free. We feel very trapped. And this is no edited video. I'm not gonna cut it sweet and do take part pieces out. I usually don't do that anyways because I don't have nothing to hide like most of the people on the world that we live in. I'm just me, a mom, trying to make it through the world that we live in. And I I've, I've got nasty messages from people saying that I'm un, I'm unfit. I'm an unfit mom. Um, there's a reason why DCF was after me and all this nasty stuff. And it's like it's kind of time to take a break and step back and then you have people who who are the exes stalking people's social media and it's like we gotta see what they're doing now because we can't live in our own world and focus on our own things and be our own person we have to see what this person's doing it's just it needs to it needs to stop maybe one day we'll have a president who will actually believe in equal rights and people will actually be able to Except, and there will be a law where if you don't do a certain thing, you will be held responsible. And my biggest thing I want is so people to understand why I get pissed off when I'm on the road and no one uses their blinkers. can cost me my life or your own life. That's why I'm taking a step back from social media and that's why I wanted to post this video. Just to explain why. Just... Nah, it's just nasty on social media. It's nothing but no negatives, judgmental, violence talk, and it's like enough is enough, and that's all I have to say. I'll be back, though. Until then, I'm focusing on myself, my family, and what I want to do when the time comes. So, love you guys. Stay amazing, and I will see you later.